Sarah Ferguson is busy preparing for her role as mother of the bride, with Princess Eugenie getting married in two weeks. It is reported that Sarah and Prince Andrew are helping pay for the wedding, but how much does Sarah actually have in the bank? Sarah Ferguson, 58, has had to help foot a big bill this year, the wedding of her youngest daughter, Princess Eugenie. Eugenie is marrying her long-term boyfriend Jack Brooks Spank in a lavish weekend-long affair early next month. The wedding is reported to be costing around £2 million, but most will be footed by the taxpayer as security costs. However, the rest will be paid for by the Yorks and the Brooks Banks. With such an expensive wedding bill to pay, how much is Sarah actually worth? According to the richest.com, Sarah is worth around $1 million, which is approximately £751,000. Sarah was once the official Duchess of York, part of one of the richest families in the world. But her marriage to Prince Andrew broke down in the late 90s, with the couple divorcing in 1996. It is claimed that Fergie didn't receive a huge payout, and knew she had to work hard to keep up her lifestyle. Since the divorce the 58-year-old has kept her name firmly in the public eye, working as a writer, public speaker, charity patron, brand ambassador and television personality. She has worked with countless brands over the years, endorsing products and speaking at events, all helping to build her bank balance. She has held contracts with British Fine China and Porcelain Company, Wedgwood and Cosmetics Giant, Avon. Perhaps one of the Duchess' most lucrative deals, she held a decade-long endorsement with Weight Watchers, no doubt contributing to her $1 million net worth. Fergie has also dabbled in writing, having written various books including two autobiographies. She has also hosted radio shows and the 2009 ITV reality show, The Duchess on the Estate. The controversial TV show saw the Duchess journey to a working-class estate in Manchester for a fly-on-the-wall documentary. This was followed by another called The Duchess in Hull. Fergie still currently lives with her ex-husband in the Royal Lodge in Windsor. The two also own a £13 million chalet together in Verbier, Switzerland. It is believed she also rents her own apartment in the expensive Eden Square in London. Before joining the royal family Fergie had a string of jobs, including working at a PR firm. Her story is very similar to that of Kate Middleton, who worked before marrying Prince William and banked a huge pre-wedding net worth. Princess Eugenie has been accused of Andrew and Fergie-style excess over extravagant plans for her wedding to long-term boyfriend Jack Brooks Bank at St. George's Chapel, Windsor next month. Royal commentator and author Victoria Arbiter warned that the wedding could leave the daughter of Sarah Ferguson and Prince Andrew open to negative and hurtful criticism. Celebrations for the royal wedding the second this year after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's and May are reported to be taking place over two days. Writing in her column for Australian media outlet Nine Honey, Miss Arbiter said, while I don't believe Eugenie is interested in one-upping her cousin, the three separate parties, split over the course of two days, do rather smack of Andrew and Fergie style excess, which leaves their youngest daughter open to a swath of negative and in some cases hurtful criticism. The royal expert added that public opinion is rarely favorable. She said, as a private royal, Eugenie can pretty much do whatever she wants when it comes to her wedding celebrations, but unfortunately public perception is rarely favorable. Eugenie, 28, and Mr. Brooks Bank are due to marry on October 12 at the same Windsor location as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Some 850 guests are said to be attending the wedding and the ninth in line to the throne has invited 1,200 members of the public to the grounds of Windsor Castle. The couple, who announced their engagement in January, will also take a carriage ride through Windsor following the ceremony, as Harry and Meghan did. It has been reported that security for the lavish event will cost the taxpayer £2 million. But the wedding will not be broadcast by the BBC, despite millions watching Harry and Meghan's day. Speculation is growing over which designer Eugenie has chosen for her wedding dress. Caroline Costigliano, royal, expert and couture wedding dress designer, said, 
Eugenie's sense of fashion is just different to Kate and Megan. She is younger and has an entirely different body shape, so her choices would not be the same. Mize Costigliano added, I hope she has a fabulous wedding day and I am sure she will look stunning. She is an incredibly pretty girl. Speaking on the one show in August, the Duchess of York said her daughter knows exactly what she wants for her wedding. She said, she is so sordid. She knows exactly what she wants. Jack and her are very contemporary, they are very inclusive. They are all about love and they want this wedding to be about that to include everybody, to really absorb the love they have for each other with everybody else. Meghan Markle, 37, and Prince Harry, 33, had their wedding in May. Now is it claimed Princess Eugenie, 28, and Jack Brooks Bank, 32, are planning a wedding that is even bigger than theirs. Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooks Bank are planning a festival-style event for their wedding. The minor royals' plans involve celebrating with guests over a whole weekend. While their ceremony would take place on Friday, the couple and their family and friends will continue the celebrations all weekend. Another party will take place on Saturday afternoon. According to reports from people the couple will have a party on Saturday in the grounds of the Royal Lodge. The grand building was Eugenie's childhood home and Prince Andrew, 58, still owns the property. Eugenie's wedding weekend will certainly be jam-packed with events. The couple will marry on Friday in the early afternoon. They will then have a lunch hosted by the Queen at Windsor Castle, much like Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's first reception. Then the couple will go on to have a black tie evening reception at the Royal Lodge. If guests aren't exhausted and too hungover, they can also attend another party the next day, where they will be a fairground and different food stalls. A source told People, it is Eugenie and Jack's party and they are very much involved in all the details and decisions. The magazine also reports that Bentley's Entertainment is organizing Saturday's event. The Beckhams also hired this company for their wedding in 1999. Couple Princess Eugenie be copying Meghan Markle's wedding look. For her wedding to Prince Harry in May, Meghan opted for minimal makeup with all attention on her long, luscious eyelashes. But those lashes weren't the Duchess' real lashes, they were, in fact, eyelash extensions. Hannah Putyato, founder of London Lash, predicts that Eugenie will also sport the same stunning look for her nuptials. Talking to the Express.co.uk, Hannah said, The best eyelash look for Princess Eugenie is squirrel, or kitten, effect. This elegant style will enhance her eyes, making them even more beautiful. Princess Eugenie reveals plans to follow in Sarah Ferguson's footsteps after her wedding. Princess Eugenie, five facts about Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson's youngest daughter full name her full title is Princess Eugenie Victoria Helen of York. She is the Queen's sixth grandchild and is currently ninth in the line of succession. Education Eugenie started her education at Wingfield Montessori before heading to Upton House School and Coworth Park School. She then attended Street. George's School in Windsor before completing her levels in art. English Literature and History of Art at Marlborough College. To undertake her bachelor's degree in English Literature, History of Art and Politics, Eugenie attended Newcastle University. Career in 2013, Eugenie moved to New York City to work for online auction firm Padelaide as a benefit auctions manager. She returned to London in 2015 to work for Hauser & Worth Art Gallery as an associate director, gaining a promotion to be a director in 2017. Social media Princess Eugenie joined Instagram in March this year, the first royal to officially do so. Other members of the royal family have accounts run by the palaces. She has 281,000 followers, but is only following 19 accounts including close friend Ellie Goulding, her mother, and Queen Ronnie of Jordan. Celebrity friends Eugenie mixes in strictly illicit circles and is friends with celebrities and the cream of British society. 
Close girlfriends include Cressy de Bonas and Shulzy Davy, both former flames of Prince Harry. Ellie Goulding, Cara Deleving, Jack Whitehall, Jimmy Carr, and James Blunt are also known to be friendly with the princess. <laughs> Wow!